Hello and welcome to my channel. Making presentations is a long and tedious task. Fortunately, now we have many AI presentation makers that can give us both text and images for our presentation slides. And this can save us a lot of time. In this video, I'm going to show you three AI applications for making presentations with a brief tutorial of each one of them to get you started. But before I show you these three apps, there are three important things I would like to highlight. The first thing is I selected only those applications that either allow you to create a free account forever or they give you enough credits to test them by making some presentations. But when I was searching for these apps, I noticed that most of these AI apps do not offer any free account. The second important thing is that whenever you want to make a presentation using AI apps, the most important skill you need is the way you enter the text prompts into that AI app, the way you interact with the app, because the way we interact with the app is by putting some text instructions. These are called text prompts. And this is an art you have to learn and you learn it with experience. So these text prompts must be detailed and must be correct as well. And sometimes too many details are also not good. So the quality of the output presentation will depend on your text prompts. And the third important thing is that when you are making a presentation on any topic using AI, you should not rely 100% on AI. First, you should put all the material you have on that topic in a folder any text, any images, even you have some material in a paper format, you can take pictures and put those images in a folder and then you use AI apps for making presentations. So after noting these three things, let's have a look at what are these three AI apps. At number three, I have this tom.app for you. You create an account by signing up on tom.app and it will ask you what name you want for your space. So I provided the name of my channel, Digit Idea, and then you will get this workspace for your presentations. This gives you 500 AI credits to start with. And if you refer your friends, I think you get 50 credits for each referral. You can invite other team members to your space as well. So this is my dashboard where I have recently edited presentations. There are some templates available. To start a new presentation, I have to click on create. So I click on create and there are few options here. I can set a theme right away. And if I scroll down, this is the option for create presentation. And I click on that and now I want to give it the title of my presentation. And my title is AI art generators. Again, this is not a good text prompt, but I'm just showing you some example. But as I explained earlier, you must give a very detailed text prompt in your title. Although it is a title, but you can adjust the actual title later on. On the right hand side, you will see this six. These are the number of slides in your presentation. You can later add more pages. So don't worry about this. And I press enter and it will start generating the outline first. And now it has created these six slides. I click on continue. And as you can see that it has also increased my title a little bit. And now it is creating some images, AI art images. And now these are my slides. The first slide is a title slide. Then we have table of content. And then there are some slides, introduction, what are AI art generators, examples, and your presentation is almost ready instantly. How cool is this? If you are in a hurry on a topic, just put a detailed text prompt and get your text and images from Tom app. Or to share this, you click on this share. Then you click on this little arrow and you select this can play option. And then you copy the link. It will show you copy it. And then you can send via email or any other way. Now, if I click on this play button on the top right, now I will see this full screen view and now I can move to other slides by using this arrow at the lower left and lower right corner. So in this way, I can see all my presentation slides. You can also record the narration by clicking on this record button. It will ask you to allow the microphone. Once you do that, then you hit this record button and start talking. And in this way, you can narrate your slides. With this button, you can set themes as well. If you have some brand colors, you can select here. To add a new page, you click on this plus sign and you can add a new page. So I hope this will get you started with tome.app AI Presentation Maker. 
So the second AI presentation maker tool is magicslides.app. This is basically a Google Slides extension and it can create AI based presentations for you in seconds. They offer a free plan where you can make three presentations per month and up to 10 slides per presentation. So first I click on setup guide and then I click on this installation page and I click on install to install magic slides app and then I click on continue and I'm going to allow this then next and then done and now I type slide dot new in Google and a new Google slide will be started and now I click on extensions magic slides app GPT for slides and click open and now it is asking some questions so I select two options let's click Google and then I click get started and now I will see this sidebar as you can see that I have three credits my plan is free and I can put some reference text here with a limit of 6000 characters and now let's use chat GPT to create some text for our presentation. So I opened my chat GPT account and I put a simple command. And now I put this prompt in chat GPT. Give me some information about AI art generators of at least 5000 characters long. And I will be using this text to make presentations and I just copy it and paste here. And now I click on generate. And because I entered only five slides, so it created five slides for me. So let's change this to 10 and click generate again. And now I got five more slides and there are two slides extra because the slide number one and six are title slides. Therefore, I can delete one of these. And now I have these 11 slides and as you might notice that these slides need a little bit of adjustment but I got both text and images. And let's say I want to change this image so I click on that and I click delete and I can insert my own image from my computer for example. So image upload from computer and here I have few AI images already generated so I select one of those and I can change my image. And I can make these adjustments and put my own image. And as you can see that this information is very accurate. I can give my presentation a name by clicking here and it will take the name from the first slide. Whatever is the title of the first slide, it will take the name as soon as you click here. But now I have consumed two of my credits because I have made two presentations. So basically, if you change the number of slides, it will consider it as a separate presentation. So make sure that you are right the first time. And the rest is same. You can share this, you can download Download this in PowerPoint format, in PDF format, and there are some other formats available as well. So you can take your Google slide presentation to PowerPoint if you want. Now at number one is Prezi, which is a very popular presentation maker. I log into my Prezi account and it's a big tool. So this is Prezi user interface where you can create a video, infographic, a PowerPoint like presentation, but with a special touch, which is called Prezi effect. And you will see in a minute what I mean. But we are interested in creating presentations using Prezi AI, which is also called presentation assistant. So I click on that and now this is the user interface. And as you can see on the right hand side, there are three different steps but nothing is enabled except this part where we have to put some information about the title or about the topic of our presentation. And I'm going to copy the same text that we created before using chat GPT and paste here. Now I will see this continue button. So in the first step, it will create some topics of our presentation. You can say slide topics. So I click continue and now it has created these seven different topics for our presentation. So this is the outline of our presentation and our presentation will contain these seven slides. You can hit this button new outline to create new set of topics if you want. But this is just an example. So I'm going to click continue and now it will show me few layouts. For example, if I click on timeline, it will show me my presentation in a timeline manner. And the Prezi effect that I was talking before is this. If I play this, you will see that the first slide zooms in, then the second slide zooms in, then zoom out and then the next slides are zooming in. So this is called Prezi effect. But there are few layouts. If I click on 
mind map and click play this is a little different layout but again zoom in and zoom out i can stop anytime so let's say i have selected this timeline and then i click continue and now it is going to create my presentation and almost instantly it has created all these slides with these images so i can click on play again and have a look at these images and let's stop this and click on continue first and now i can finish this wizard and now what i can do is i can edit all these elements for example if i want to edit the first slide i click here this slide will be zoomed in and for example i want to change this image i can click on that and i right click and click delete and then i right click again and insert image on the right hand side this sidebar will open and i can select any of these images available here these are the free images if you scroll down there are some premium images for pro users but we are using the free account and i can also upload so if i click on upload i can select any of the images which i already have so i click on this and click open and that image will be inserted here you can also insert media in this media area images videos gifs pdfs charts so you can insert all these also there are a lot of shapes available if i click on this shape there are many shapes available if you want to insert now in this more options you have this presenter notes option as well now you can go through all these slides and you can see if you want to change anything or put some text but within a few minutes you can get something to start with at least you get some outline you get some images you get all the slides with this prezi effect so quite amazing now on the right hand side you have this little arrow if you click on that you can export this as a pdf or you can get a link to your presentation which you can share via email and here you can put the name of this file if you want to change the background you can click on style and background and again you have the option to upload any image or you can choose any of these free backgrounds available if you want you can try different backgrounds and see if you like one. So Prezi is a quite established presentation maker and now they have implemented this AI in their presentation tool which is awesome. So that is it for today. I hope you liked this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.